This is Patrick Archibald with a demonstration of XBMC Mythbox. Okay, for those who haven't seen XBMC, we'll just run through the menus before we get to the Mythbox script. So this is your system menu. That's where you change all your settings. And you'll notice the artwork in here is really nice. I'm not sure what you do with programs. I guess you add in apps. Music. Uh, it's a pretty nice player. Let's go down and listen to some Jeff Beck. Notice it's got some pretty pretty neat uh, artwork going on here. All right, enough of Jeff. Got videos. I don't have any videos set up yet. Pictures, weather. The weather app's really really beautiful. Check it out. Alright, and here's what we came for to look at the Mythbox script. So let's go down there and check it out. You'll notice it takes a couple of seconds for it to start up. I guess it's establishing database connections and TCP connections and stuff like that. So this is the uh, front page of the Mythbox uh, where you can watch your recordings, which is what you'll be doing 98% of the time. So we can go in here and just list all of our recordings and play whatever we want. We'll come back to this later. You can watch TV. And you'll notice that you can pretty much do everything you can do in a Myth front-end. You can do it here with this uh, Mythbox XBMC script. Now, we'll go ahead and click on this uh, NCAA uh, program right now, and we'll just demonstrate how long it takes to tune to the uh, HD home run. So you can see it took about, uh, I don't know, about five seconds or so to uh, crank it up. But once it gets going, it's uh, nice looking. Let's back out of live TV. Go down to the TV guide. It's pretty standard stuff. That's all your TV guide information and program information. And in here you can schedule uh, recordings and go to live shows or whatever you want to do. Here, list your uh, recording schedules. You can go in here and make changes, just like you could in a Myth front end. For example, let's go up to Chuck and delete the recording just for, or delete the schedule. You see, it's gone. So let's talk to the back end and uh, just like a Myth front end would do. And of course, here's your upcoming recordings. Notice it's got some pretty good artwork on the left there. And I'm just using the standard theme that uh, this myth box came with. I don't know if you can change it or not. But it looks pretty good. And the uh, installation was pretty easy. The only thing I had to do special, I guess, was go into my Etsy host file and uh, add my back end uh, name to it and the IP address because it didn't like just putting the IP address in this uh, Mythbox settings configuration here. So I did that and also set up a NFS uh, share uh, to the recordings directory. And here on the MySQL page, you just have to put your uh, server name and the uh, MySQL password. And not sure what you would do here. The test settings is just where you test make sure you can talk to your back end and played around with the uh, advanced I see it has a Twitter feed thing um, I haven't been successful in getting anything other than the Mythbox feed Twitter feed it scrolls across the bottom it's pretty cool and there's the about page so let's go back up and uh, watch a recording one of the things you'll notice is that uh, it will recognize where your myth front end left off uh, in the middle of a recording. So if you come back here and use the myth box instead of a myth front end, it, it'll pick up right where it left off, which is pretty cool. Now on this uh, page here, it gives you some program information. You'll notice that it says uh, commercial break six. 
So it, it recognizes and honors commercial breaks for Myth TV, which is excellent. My number. When it first starts up, it Not takes a minute for the, the uh, audio the to World sync up, but uh, after that, it seems to be fine. Last night. Yeah. Everyone here in New York gets really excited for Don't the Tony's out of this. Uh, well, let's go back and uh, pick that up again, and I want to show you one other thing. There were viewing parties all over the city. Here, check this out. One thing that's nice is you can do, and the uh, look at the CPU Tony Award goes to uh, stats just by pressing Eddie the O, Redman. which is pretty good information there. Uh, press I to get program information. Let's hit X. So all in all, this thing is uh, pretty dang close to being a myth. Uh, front end, just as good. You can edit your recordings, play your recordings, uh, make scheduling changes, um, you know, pretty much everything you can do with a MIF front end. Uh, I found some quirks here and there, but uh, this, this thing's come along pretty nice. So if you're an XBMC fan, uh, this is a really a script that you need to check out if you are also a MythBox user or a MythTV user. All right, that's about it. PLA out.